We can probably anticipate that this type of initiative could be subject to some criticism and uh, we've all noticed that the industry, uh, there's quite a cynical attitude sometimes in the public or within the media. Uh, how have you prepared yourself uh, to justify why we still think this is a worthwhile initiative? I think there will be some criticism and some people could be cynical that we're deciding now to come out with an oath and you know why didn't we do it before or you know, haven't the ethics of the industry always been important. What we have to do is really stand forward and say well of course ethics are important and it's always been part of the way we conduct ourselves but it's an opportunity for us to publicly stand forward and state this is the way we will conduct ourselves as individuals, how we expect our colleagues to conduct themselves in their business dealings and really bring the profession forward to be accountable for the way we expect uh, to behave. Is it just words that people notionally sign up to but don't live out? Um, I think people are more serious about ethics than that. I don't think anybody who has uh, an ethical viewpoint uh, on life and on their business dealings is going to sign up just for the sake of it. Um, so I, I actually think that it will, it will get a foothold and people will believe in it. Um, but we have to acknowledge that it is new. It is the first time that an industry is, is being asked to consider uh, at an individual level taking on board a set of standards such as this. Um, and so it might take some time to get that going. On the other hand, that's the role of people on the panel, their organisations, to, to actually promote the, the oath and the benefit of the oath and the aim behind the oath. Look, I, I certainly think there'll be scrutiny of the initiative and that's fair enough because uh, institutions uh, and individuals' actions should be open to scrutiny. But I think once uh, commentators and opinion leaders reflect on what we're trying to do, I think they can only but support it. Our industry you know, has a lot to, uh, to, to answer for in terms of, um, uh, I think, some poor standards of personal behaviour that have occurred over the past uh, decade or two. We can't stop human behaviour in the human cycle, but we can do a lot to minimise it. Uh, you can't eliminate risk, you can just minimise it. And that's in part what the oath is about, and in part what the industry as a whole and all of my colleagues who hold similar positions uh, want to achieve. I think it can't do any harm for us to stand forward and do that at this time. When you put all of this together, whether it's the oath, whether it's how we promote the oath, uh, and, and how people have a sense of personal underwriting that the words convey to them in terms of how they conduct themselves with those words in mind, it needs to send the right message, whether it's to our regulators, to, the whole, to those who hold us accountable, whether it's to our broader stakeholders, and importantly to our clients, uh, that we're serious about what we say and what we mean and the standards that we hold ourselves to. So I think it's really important for us uh, to stand in the community and allow people to uh, take comfort in the fact that we are prepared to stand up, take an oath about how we're going to behave and conduct ourselves. It gives them some comfort and a basis for trust and I think it will be a wonderful opportunity for us all. We conduct ourselves in a manner that people interpret from the oath we've undertaken. We're going to do ourselves and our industry a great service. I think the Banking and Finance Oath is a great start. It's really important for us to get individuals to think about how they behave and how they act in their business dealings. Not just within their organisation, but more broadly within the industry as a whole. I'm really hopeful that as the oath becomes more widely known, people will talk to their colleagues, their friends within their organisation and outside, and encourage others to sign up. Um, we really want to see the standard maintained, if not lifted, across the industry. And this is a great way to start. I think the Banking and Finance Oath is a great start for us and I'm looking forward to building on it.